Hey, it's Mike Hambright from FlipNerd.com, and we have a quick VIP tip to share with you from Corey Peterson, who's going to share a tip on how to ask for private money for your real estate deals. OPM, other people's money. How do you get it, right? Um, and, you know, the one thing with money is no one tells you how much they have. So what I found is a really cool way, and I raised my first hundred thousand dollars totally by accident and this is why I know this works so I uh, you know I met some people and I had some relationships right and the thing with relationships is when you start asking for money um, that automatically turns people sour right they don't want to hear it because you're gonna ask them to make a decision right and people don't want that that's too much right in your face pressure so what I found is I always ask them who do they know right so for example, I played racquetball with this guy um, for years now. He's an older gentleman, 65, lives in a retirement community. And truly, I used to be his financial advisor and I didn't think he had any extra money, right? And I knew where all his money was, it was all tied up in other investments. And so I truly was asking him for his help. And so the story goes like this, hey Carl, I know you live in this retirement community. You know, you kind of seen what I've done. Um, and I, if I had a presentation like that, I would explain it. And, uh, hey, I really want you to take a look at what I'm doing because I think you're the kind of person that knows other people in your neighborhood that would, you know, would love to make a pretty good return on their money. And, Carl, I know if you don't understand it, no one else is going to. Hmm. So can you just, like, proof this for me and just make it, see if it makes sense to you, you know? And so, uh, Carl, you know, I could probably, you know, this is when I was doing single family fix, fix and flips. You know, Carl, um, I could probably pay you around 12% rate of return and lock it up with like a piece of pro property and give you like a note and deed of trust so you'd have collateral. And so, you know, I said, so that would, that'd be kind of cool. Make 12% on your money. He goes, yeah, yeah, that's great. You know, and so he left and I thought, well, that was that. And the next day he calls me, he goes, hey, Corey. Are you still wanting to do that 12%? And I said, yeah. And I was thinking, man, he found somebody. Yeah. He goes, Corey, well, you don't know this, but like, I've got a home equity line on my house that I can, you know, I get money at 3%. Hmm. If you give me 12, I get to make a spread. Right. How much do you need, Corey? Carl, I need about $86,000. Yeah, no problem. Um, where do you want me to send it? Wow. And that was my first taste at raising private money. I'll always love Carl. I'm not going to go out his last name, but he is my Baja Rushy Mecca of money that gave me enough confidence. Because once I got that first piece, dude, it gave me, then I can say I raised private money. And so then I created a private money program, which is your next step, to actually have a program on how you take people's money and you give them a rate of return. And then I used that booklet plus my credibility piece, which is all the things that I'd done before. Those two pieces have made me, I've raised almost, I can't, 30, probably 20, 30 million dollars of private money over the last five, six years. Um, and the great thing about it is they don't ever want it back. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you give it back to them to them when they flip a deal, but they're like, hey, where's the next deal? I want to get it in the next one. I like making that rate of return. Great, great. And, uh, so there's there's a tip for you for raising private money. Just ask people if they would take a look at what you're doing because you want their advice. You want to make sure that you know you want them to critique you, and that because really it's it's made for them, right? But they don't know it yet, and they'll discover it when they discover it, and it's their idea. Man, that's huge. And the other little tip, tip that's on, a caveat on that is once you get that first private money from that first person, do what you say you're going to do, deliver him his money back, principal plus interest, and then you take all his friends out to dinner and you, <laughs> buy, and you say, this is my guy, and then he'll do all the rest of the talking. You just shut up. Thanks for joining us for another FlipNerd.com expert tip. To access hundreds of tips and full expert interviews, please visit FlipNerd.com or join us in the iTunes store. We'd like to thank our sponsors, RealtyMogul.com and National Real Estate Insurance Group. 
to access the most robust social platform in existence for real estate investors, where you can find off-market wholesale deals, find great vendors to help you in your business, and learn and socialize with other real estate investors, please visit the all-new flipnerd.com. If you're not yet a member, you can set up a free account in less than a minute. Please note, the views and opinions expressed by the individuals in this program do not necessarily reflect those of Flipner.com or any of its partners, advertisers, or affiliates. Please consult professionals before making any investment or tax decisions, as real estate investing can be risky.